here at the winery, we started out making Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, and Cabernet. And so those are our core three wines starting 73, 74, and 76. And we've got really well known for those three varieties. Working in the family business in the winery over these last 50 years, you kind of just pinch yourself because I got the best job. This year, 2023, is our 50th anniversary. And so when my brother and I kind of talk, we kind of like, it doesn't seem like 50 years. It seems like maybe five, okay, maybe 10 years, but it doesn't seem that long a period of time. And one is, is we've just been having a lot of fun. The history or background over 50 years of making wine here in the middle of Rutherford is it kind of goes way back to my grandfather. My grandfather started an auto repair. In 1926, my grandfather and my father worked together running the garage along with my grandmother and mother. It was truly a family affair. And we were making about 10 barrels of Cabernet and Sauvignon Blanc. And so pretty much everything was done by hand. And each year we grew a little bit. And then as you make more wine, you have to go out and sell it. And so my father would go out on the road to sell it. And then my mother and grandmother would run the garage. The garage helped support the winery for the first 10, 12 years to kind of get it off the ground. Because as we were making wine and selling it, we'd make more wine. You make a barrel, you sell that, then you make two barrels, then you sell that and you make four barrels. And so that took a lot of capital. And so that was coming out of the garage at the time. This is our visitor center where our guests come when they first come on the property. We remodeled this and the remodeling was finished in 2019. All of the wood that you see here, including the lights, is recycled or reclaimed. And the barrels that make these lights came from our barrels. We have 60 or so acres in total here. Large portion of that is covered in vineyard. In addition to that, we have nine or so tasting rooms and other tasting areas, as well as gardens. Our chef garden is here. The other thing that's been important with my mother, the culinary program, because we've always believed that wine and food go together. My father liked to say it's wine and food, not food and wine. So that's a big distinction with us. I think we're known over these 50 years of having really well-balanced wines that go perfect with food. As we've grown, we realize to have consistently quality wines, you need to own the vineyards. And so we started acquiring growers that wanted to retire or new properties. And so today we're very, very fortunate to have almost 800 acres of vineyards. And that helps secure that consistency and quality. And so that consistency are really, really important to us over these past 50 years and uh, kind of going forward as well. Since the beginning, sustainability and protecting the ecosystems and environment around the vineyards has been key to who we are. We farm organically in all of our vineyards. We are working with local sustainability groups like Napa Green. We've recently become members of the International Wineries for Climate Action group. So we're taking our ideas now internationally and starting to work with other wineries around the world. Now you can't outrun climate change, and so it's how do you adapt? That's going to be the most important thing. I'm optimistic about how we're going to adapt and then be able to make an impact on the climate. You see people trying a lot of different things, and hopefully we all can learn together and learn from other people's mistakes, our mistakes, and then say, ah, that's a good idea. How can we improve on it? But it has to happen now. We can't wait. It's exciting to be able to get to this phase and be able to work to get it to the next generation in a really strong manner that is adapting to the conditions, whether it's climate conditions, market conditions, our customers' conditions, and how do we can adapt. Being in a family business, we're fortunate that we can trust our values, but also be open to the new ideas that are coming up 
that the next team can be able to take advantage of to get us to evolve because they've seen what we've done over the last 50 years from four barrels to 800 acres where we are today. And so that groundwork, that foundation's been set to help us uh, springboard kind of going forward in future generations.